All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Murkar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, of Grand Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim uh, scattered through the four corners of the globe, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And I say uh, Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a quick sit down lesson on this uh, Friday morning at 1.43 a.m. On this uh, Friday morning uh, after, after 12 a.m. So it's about one something. So I just want to do a little quick sit down lesson. It's going to be the title of this lesson is going to be for this quick sit down is the weapons of our warfare not carnal. This is the book of Second Chronicles chapter 10 verse 4 through the Holy Scriptures and it reads for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through Yahweh thy power to the pulling down of strongholds. Right, because you know this uh, this uh, these Holy Scriptures is our weapon you know, especially, you know, we out here in the world, especially seeing, you know, a lot of crime going on. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, a lot of crimes going on in our community. That's why, like the scripture says, you know, you got to be circumspect. Watch your surroundings out here because, you know, it's evil spirits and heavy things out here on these people. You know, including the other nations as well, too, but mostly pouring on our people as well too because you know you got Israelites out here in the world they still don't know the fact that they are the children of Israel you know you know especially you know us is in this truth so you know we gotta be uh, wise as serpents and harmless as doves you know especially you know uh, any situation can be ticked off real quickly you know that's why it's important to have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and the stability of that times, you know. And the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, you know. You know, we're not going to be carnal-minded, you know. That's why we continually and constantly pray to the Most High, uh, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, you know, for that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in that uh, right balance, stability of mind as well, too, especially in the times that we are living in, you know. Because you get easily run into a situation, you know, and it could turn out for the worse. So that's why our scripture says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. That's why I wanted to bring out this uh, scripture, you know, because it was kind of on my mind, you know. That's why, you know, having that uh, that that positive balance, uh, stability of a right frame of mind, you know. Because everything, you know, is a balance, you know. You know, the good and evil and in between, you know. So that's why it's, it's definitely important, you know, in the times that we're living in, is being wise as serpents and harmless as doves, you know, and having that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in the uh, current modern day times that we are living in, because the days are evil. Because, you know, we're living in those times where the days are evil, you know. And these are the beginning of sorrows rules of, uh, what's currently on this earth and what's about to come as well too especially when that Jacob's trouble come you know it's gonna be all out chaos in that day you know and we are approaching those times you know and I'm gonna bring it out again for uh, edification's sake this is the book of 2nd Chronicles chapter 10 verse 4 and it reads through the Holy Scriptures for the, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal and I'm gonna uh, look up the definition of uh, carnal Right, carnal, uh, relating to physical, especially especially sexual needs and activities. So you know that's carnal, my, carnal mind and doing something which we ain't supposed to be doing. You know, a uh, carnal mind that's opposite of uh, righteousness. You know, so that's why you know we can't be uh, carnal minded. And the definition of carnal minded, if you set your mind on things of the flesh or you're carnally minded, carnal is where we get the word meat 
from carnal, which is a Spanish word for meat, and we see that to be carnally minded is to live after the things that animals live for instantly, essentially. So, right, you know, we can't be carnal, carnal minded, you know. That's why, you know, even though the flesh is weak, you know, we got to over, overcome that flesh, you know, and and have that strong spirit, you know, with that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we're going to have in these times that we are living in, you know. That's why the scripture says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, you know, we can't be carnal minded, you know, with negative thoughts all the time, you know, uh, try our best to come within a balanced approach so we can fight off those uh, heavy demons and those heavy spirits and the lust of the flesh as well too, you know. Um, bring out Isaiah 33 and 6. Okay. And this is the book of Isaiah chapter 33 verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strengthen of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, thy power is his treasure, right? Because, you know, coming into the times that we are in, you know, because it's going to get rough and rough by the days and the years and the months as well, too. You know, in these modern day times that we are living in, that's why it's good to have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know. And the stability of our times. And I'm going to define, look up the definition of uh, stability. You know, being you know, stable mind, right? Stability, a noun, is uh, the state of being stable. There are fears of the political stability of the area. The definition of stability. Uh, the quality, state, or degree of being stable, such as strength to tend or endure firmness, the property of a body that causes when disturbed from a condition or a, lab a labyrinth or stable motion to develop forces or moments that restore the original condition. Right, you know, that's why we gotta be stable minded in these times. You know, because you got evil spirits and heavy demons on people out here, you know, be bugging out and stuff. That's why, you know, put that armor, that armor of your how of thy power, you know, so you can withstand these things, you know. And I'm about to bring that scripture out as well, too. Uh, you know, that's through the spirit, you know. Ephesians 6 and 10, I believe. Yep. Yeah, this is the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 10. And it reads, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, in the power of his might. Verse 11, Put on the whole armor of Yahweh, thy power, that you may be able to stand against the wiles, wiles of the devil. Because you know the devil, he, he's a deceiver. He deceived the whole planet Earth. You know, uh, spiritual, spiritual Satan in the flesh. You know, and the spiritual Satan as the spirit as well too. You know, that's why you gotta put on the whole armor of Yahweh thy power to stand against the wiles of the devil of this world. You know, of this present evil wicked world. You know, because we have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and that whole armor of Yahweh thy power would be able to withstand these things, you know, would be able to uh, balance and maneuver these things, you know, what these uh, holy scriptures was given to us, you know, and still to this day, continue to learn that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, continue to grow and learn these uh, scriptures as much as possible while we still have the opportunity and the chance but with meekness, humbleness, and sincerity, you know, so yeah, you know, uh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, you know. Definitely can be carnal minded with 
things of uh, that's dealing with wickedness and evilness and negativity and all that, you know. That's why it's better have that uh, wisdom, knowledge, and stability of the times and the times that we are coming in, you know. So with that, I hope this uh, quick set down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh Yahweh. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and some glory and honor too to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash, double honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, Christian's word, truthfully and sincerely. Shalom on to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, uh, Christian's word, truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shalom on to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christian's word, truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I'll say shalom.